Well, we're going to talk about all sorts of things, but we're especially going to talk about life in the big house, aren't we? Because Mary used to work at Wheel Manor. And before that, where did you work before that? Um, I left school when I was 15. Now, what year was that, do you remember? About 41, I should about say. About 1941, yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah. And um, I went up to Shropshire to... Um, a big house where my sister was working as a parlour maid oh, yeah. and I went up to join her and to help in the kitchen yeah. and then um, I'd been up there about a year I think and we had to sign on for one of the, for the, the forces oh yes so yeah. I thought I'd try and get into the rents yeah because I had a fascination for sailors. Did yeah, for sailors, not sailing. <laughs> no, sailors. <laughs> like the song, isn't it? <laughs> and um, <laughs> unfortunately, I didn't pass oh. because my of my eyesight. Oh, so I was the the house where I was working. They were big farmers. Yeah. So he got me to go into the land army. Yeah. I worked on the farm during the day and then at night times at six o'clock I would have to work in the house, help out in the kitchen and do odd jobs. Yeah. And um So that would be a very long day. That would be Oh, it was a terribly long day because we had to get up at seven yeah. in the morning yeah. and they had an enormous kitchen range. Yeah. And which I had to um, light yeah. to get it hot for the cook yeah. to come down to do breakfast. Yeah. Um, so was that riddling out the ashes and oh yes, and that? fetching sticks and yeah. I think it was anthracite or coke, oh, yeah. you know, something like that. And um, it, but it was good. I enjoyed it yeah. because it was something different, and each day was. A bit different. Yeah. Um, used to help with the breakfast, and I always had to make sure that um, plates were put in the warming oven. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, cook would get cross. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um, I had one or two little accidents, but you know it was nothing serious. But the the cook, she was cook housekeeper, but she was a dear old lady. She really was a sweetie. She was kind to you. Oh, she was so kind to me. Yeah. She really was. And I was terribly homesick, of course. Yes. Terribly homesick. Yeah. And um, I wrote... It would make such a difference having somebody kind looking after yes, you, wouldn't it? Yes, yes. I wrote to my mother and said, could you come and pick me up because I'm terribly homesick. And she wrote back and said, I'm sorry, darling, I can't fetch you back. You just have to put up with it. Yeah. And I but did. Can't but you think of it? Your mum would have been so upset by having that letter. Yes, from you, she, she was. Yes, she, she was. She would want you to be happy yes, in your job. Yes, because um, my father died when I was nine, oh, yes. and she had eight children. Unbelievable. And she brought them up on her own. Mm. But well, I mean, it was good. We all helped out and yes. different things. It but made I, you a very um, close family, I imagine. Yes, very close. Yeah. But I think going into the service taught me an awful lot. Yes. Because I learned to cook, to clean, and do all the things which a lot of girls these days don't just know. don't know how to do, mm -hmm. which is I think is very sad, actually. Mm -hmm. But we also had one or two... Um, enjoyments with people saying we had um, this was during the war yeah. um, there was nanny and two children two boys nanny was terribly sweet too yeah she was a that great was lovely yeah and um, we had this lady come to stay for a long weekend yeah. and um, she was a bit of a an alcoholic smoker. oh dear dear yes <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Poor children. One, one evening, um, the butler came. 
shouting down the stairs. I think there's smoke coming from up in one of the bedrooms. Oh my goodness. And she'd set fire to the bed. She'd gone to sleep and left a cigarette. Yeah. And she burnt the bed. It wasn't too serious. Was, and was she, did she survive it? She, oh yes, she, 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 she wasn't harmed at all. No. Luckily it was the butler who... I wonder if it shocked her out of her alcoholism. Sorry? Well, I wonder if it shocked her out of drinking so much. Well, I don't think so, because yeah. she used to return quite often. <laughs> did she? Yeah, yeah. So but she again. was... Um, yes, we did have quite a few um, dinner parties. Yeah. Um, now tell me, when you... We, did you have a title, like it was cook? Were you just cook's help? Or you said your sister was the parlour maid? No, I was just... First of all, I was a kitchen maid. The kitchen maid, OK. And then I was... Um, I moved then to... Then I moved up to parlour maid. Yes. Tell me the difference. Tell me the different jobs you had to do. Oh, the different things. job. The parlour maid, well, yeah. I mean, she had to um, see to all the breakfast trays, make sure the trays were ready or the table was ready. Um, make sure that she she had the right cutlery polished every day, of course, with the silver and the brass. Did she um, do that? Sorry? Did she do the polishing? Yes, yes. Right. Which was hard work because there was quite a lot of it to do. Yeah. Um, kept the dining room clean because um, they didn't have a butler then. And um, served meals. Um, she used to get up at six in the morning and used to go to bed about anything between 10 and 12 at night. That's incredible. It was, it was a terribly long day. Yeah. Um, we used to get, I think it was a, an hour off in the afternoons yeah. for a rest. Yeah. We used to have um, a half a day w each week off and Sundays half a day once fortnight it's not a lot so you it? couldn't do much there yeah. and the pay was absolutely ridiculous the pay was two pounds a week and we got paid monthly so <laughs> eight pounds a month eight pounds a month so you had to eke out what you were going to do with your eight yes. pounds during the month yeah. but I mean and how far away were you from home then the um my mother used to buy my clothes yes but then the person I worked for she used to supply the uniforms yes which we had a, a morning uniform yes. and an afternoon uniform yes which was um white apron and caps and coats in the morning yeah. and black dresses with white caps and aprons in the afternoon. Yes. And was it your job to keep them clean and wash uh, them? No, the laundry used the to laundry do that. that. Yeah, but we did our own private washing. Yes, yes. But um, there wasn't washing machines or anything no. like you had to do it by hand in the tub. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it's quite um, different. It, it it really was great, but um, what was great about it was it the kind of companionship of everybody else. Yes, yeah, because there? each, I think there must have been about five or six staff there, and of course, all one girl was a Russian. Good heavens! And um, and she was a beautiful skater. Was she? Really? Yes, she she was beautiful. Where um, did you see her skate then? The they pond, used to it? have a pond, oh. Oh. and when it froze over, she yeah. used to go down to the pond, and I used to go with her, but I never, I couldn't even stand up. No, I've tried it too. But Thank she you. used to do eight figures. She, she was marvellous. And then... Do you know what her story was? How did she come to be there? Do you know? I can't quite remember how she came to escaped from the Russian Revolution. She, she escaped... I think she escaped and went to America uh -huh. and then she went to, um, I think she went to France or somewhere yeah. and then on to London yeah. and it was while she was in London that the person she worked for contacted 
the person I worked for yeah. to say that she was looking for a job. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. But that was Very true. But, yeah. I mean, we all shared each other's conversations, you know, and talked about different things. And yes. Did you have a good laugh? Oh, yes. Yes. Did you have a good laugh about them up there? Oh, yes. Yes. Quite yes. <laughs> Think Sometimes you'd hear them shouting at each other or oh, having yeah. your crosswords and yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah. but um, yes, I mean it, it really was good. Then when the war ended, um, they bought the uh, manor house in Bampton. The same the family? By the surgery. Oh yes. That would be where, where yes. Lord Dunhamore lives? Yes, so Bampton they, Manor, not Wheels Manor. Yeah, Bampton yes. Manor, they bought that. Yeah. And I came down with them. Yes. And um, Now what family was that? That was the same family. So is that the Monsters? Or is yes, that the, the Monsters. The Monsters, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And um, I came down with them. The house wasn't ready, so we went to stay with the family at Pusey House. Yes. And that was that was something else. Was it? Now whose house was that? That was um, Hornby's. Oh, uh, was it? Hornby's. Yes. They so were that's not a titled family. That was an industrial family. Is that right? Or I think he belonged to W. H. Smith. Something to oh, do with W. H. Smith. Oh, right. I think so. Yeah. Well, we stayed there for about six weeks, I think. But it was completely different to what I was used to because the butler more or less kept to his own quarters. Mm. The housemaids more or less kept to their quarters. And you were sort of, you weren't cast aside, but... So was it a kind of hierarchy then? Yes. A very strict, strict hierarchy. Strict hierarchy, yes. And each, very strict. Each little layer kept to itself. Yes, yes. Now tell me, in those two houses, how many staff were there? Do you remember, more or less? Oh, um, I think there must have been about seven at Pusey. Yeah. And um, one, two, three, four, I think six at Bampton. Yes. Yes, it's quite a lot, isn't it? Doesn't and that's not counting the ones who were working in the garden? Oh, no, no. no that that didn't count. No, the, the gardeners and that were separate. Yes. But... Um, Yes, when we the, the, um, we left Shropshire, um, the cook retired. Yeah. She was aging a little bit, so she she went back to her home in Doncaster. Yeah. And um, I came with the Munsters, and I was asked if I'd like to do the cooking. Yeah. Um, and I said, well, I would take on as a three months trial. Yeah. Did that make you nervous? I was at first, terribly yes. nervous. Yes. Because I'd never done it on my own before. You'd never been in total I'd control. I'd always had someone there to help me. Yeah. It's a big but step I, I tried to remember all that Cook had taught me. Yes. So um, I was doing quite well, and then uh, the Countess said, we're very pleased with you, would you like to stay on? And I said yes. Well, that was the only job I ever had. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Um, and I stayed with them until... Oh, when I did I leave? I left about 1950, I think. Did you? And um, I went to live with Mother. Oh. I got fed up with it a bit, and I thought I needed change. Yes. Oh, I got engaged to Roy then. You know, he was and a was sailor then, wasn't he? To Roy. No, he was a sailor then, wasn't he? Yes. yes. So you got, you, <laughs> you found got a sailor. sailor. <laughs> yes, even without going to the lab. So that was good. Yes, it was. Yes, that's wonderful. Yes, it really was. Yeah. Tell um, me a little bit about the meals. Tell me about what was served up at each meal. Um, were they big, enormous breakfasts? Because now people tend to have corn yes, and the run out the door. Yes, breakfasts were like um, fruit juice, grapefruits, yes. um, any like scrambled egg, poached egg on toast, bacon, sausages, um, toasts, 
and the marmalade coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Which is quite a, a variety. Yeah. And then um lunch times were um Oh, just a main meal. Never had a Star Trek lunch times. Yeah. A main meal, which might be um, casserole or roast or um, hare, yeah. pheasants, yeah. things like that. Dessert um, as well. Um, yes, desserts. Yeah. Um, they they love like spongy puddings and. <laughs> All the fattening puddings that you <laughs> you shouldn't be eating. <laughs> I had to cook something called guardsman's pudding once. I never cooked anything so full of calories. It was suet and eggs and cream and jam. It was unbelievable. So that would be the kind of thing you were cooking, even if it wasn't that name. But that, I mean, I remember cooking that once. Yeah. People don't eat puddings like that now, do they? No. But they're lovely. I mean, yeah. the, the 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 one that I used to love was a German pudding that um, they brought back from Germany, and it was so simple to do. You got white bread, you square white bread, you cut it in half, you fried it in butter on mm -hmm. both sides, mm -hmm. and when it was just brown, you put it into a hot dish. Mm -hmm. And when you'd done the bread, you poured in um, golden syrup <laughs> and on top. And when the syrup had gone down, you put cream in. <laughs> and then you poured this over the toast. And it's the most delicious pudding you've ever tasted. Well, it just makes me laugh, because it is so full of calories, isn't it? But it sounds it wonderful. Is, but that would keep the cold out. Oh, definitely. I mean, yeah. The, I, I used to love it. Yes, I would love it too. Yeah. So I don't know that I'm it's so myself. simple to yeah. do. Yeah, and delicious. And they used, I think they used to have it about twice a week. Did they really? Yes, yeah. and they used to have summer puddings and yeah. things like that. Lots of fruit during the summer. Yeah. But evening times they would have either a starter of um, fish or soup or something in that line. Or yeah curried eggs, yeah. poached eggs with, oh they used to have poached eggs with spinach yeah. on for a start and they used to love that and then had um, mayonnaise on the top, homemade they mayonnaise made, yeah. on the yeah. top, that was lovely and then um, the, the main course would probably be um, Vienna schnitzels with vegetables and um, they used to love sauté potatoes. They didn't like just plain potatoes. Mashed, roast, sauté. Yeah. And we used to do them with bacon. Yeah, Cut them in cubes, do them with bacon. Yeah. And that was delicious. Yes, that sounds good. Um, and then, of course, another pudding. They used to have melons or anything like that. But um, and coffee, and cheese, as well. cheese and biscuits. Yeah. It's two huge meals a day, isn't it? Oh yes, yes. And then they used to have quite a lot of people to stay, like um, Duke and Duchess of Marlborough. Yeah. They used to come a lot. Did they come with their servants as well? No. No, they just came on their own. Just came on their own. Right. We had um, Prince Bernard of the Netherlands. Did you? Yeah. He yeah. was a sweetie. Oh, was he? Oh. <laughs> what made he, him a sweet? He came, he, he was um, Dutch. Yes. And he came with his bodyguard. Yes. And um, Roy was butler. Yes. At the time. Yes. And um, said, would you like me to unpack for you, sir? And he said, oh, Roy, I'll help you. <laughs> so he opened the case and when he opened the case there were all these teddy bears no. on top of his clothes and each teddy bear came from one of his daughters he had four daughters yeah. and one, his one of whom's the queen now sorry one of them must be the queen now mustn't it yes she must um, be queen, queen beatrice isn't it, Isn't it? i forget yeah juliana was oh, his wife wasn't yes it? that's right so it's queen beatrice now 
a Beatrice, that's yes. right, yes. Yeah. Well, each one was placed on his pillows. To remind him of his to children. Remind him. And he was just throwing everything out. This is mine, this is yours. And <laughs> but he was so sweet. Yes, and generous. And generous. Yes. And he, he did come down to the kitchen. He only stayed one night. Yeah. Came down to the kitchen to thank me for his lovely dinner. Yes. I can't quite remember what he had, but yeah. I mean, all the best gold plates and everything came out. And mm. Mm. It was absolutely beautiful. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. It's such a different scene, really. That's like almost fairy stories. Yeah. I mean, as I got older, things changed. Yes. When did they start to change, do you think? Um, well, after the war, I, I think it yes. was a couple of years after the war, because yes. after the war it was a bit downy. Yes. Because food wasn't around much. You know, you had to be very careful. Yeah. But I know Rosemary Colville said to me, she said I should ask Major Colville to tell me the fish and soup houses. He said there were fish and soup houses in Bampton. And those were the ones that all through the war managed to have fish, well, they managed to have all the courses, fish and soup and the main course. Really? Yes, yeah, so I shall ask her, sometime I shall ask her which ones they were, or ask him. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. But then after the war, it was a very bleak time, wasn't it? Yes. With rationing and everything. Yes. 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 And that would make a lot of difference for the cook. very tight. Yes. yes. Dried eggs. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, I wouldn't change it. Yes, you reckon you had a good life? Well, I think so, because, I mean, all the things I, I was taught as, as stayed with me, yes. and I've been able to do the things properly. Yes, yes. I mean, I, I just love cooking. Isn't that fantastic? Just let and I love trying out new dishes. Do you? You oh. still do? Yes. I well, Roy's very lucky. <laughs> I must say it's a very good thing he's an energetic man because if he wasn't an energetic man and you cooked him that delicious pudding, <laughs> that <you mentioned laughs> twice he, a week. he doesn't eat pudding. He does, it's just but well. he does some cooking. He does some cooking. Yes, himself. he does cooking. So he likes cooking. Yeah. 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 If I if I do new dishes, I try it out on my daughter Penny and her husband. Yes. And if they like it, then yes. I used to say, Penny, what was the pudding like? Oh, it was gorgeous, Mum. I said, I haven't tasted it yet. Oh, well, she said, it's gone. <laughs> That's very nice. So that lasted with you forever. Oh, yes, yes. yes. You, don't, you wouldn't remember the sort of days just before the war. Your sister... Well, I was... Because um, your sister was a parlour maid at that time. She'd be a parlour maid just before the war, when presumably things were very different then. I, I think I was um, nine when the war broke out. Yes. And um, I, I can remember it. It was a Sunday. And I can remember my mother being in the kitchen with the radio on, yes. an old fashioned radio where you had accumulators yeah. with them to drive them. And she's, she sat us all down in the big kitchen and um, she said we, we, there's going to be some very bad news on the radio and I want you all to listen but we, we, were, we were young I mean my youngest sister was only um, five I think so she wouldn't really understand and, um, and of course at 11 o'clock yeah. they said that Britain was at war with Germany and so we turned round and we said, well, Mum, what's that got to do with us? We're English. Yes. And she tried to explain, you know, but... I mean, I was lucky during the war. Um, do you think it was a good place to be during the war? Well, um, yes, we were. We house. got bombed. We didn't actually get bombed, but bombs were dropped about two miles from us. Yes. One morning, we all got shaken out of our beds at two o'clock in the morning but at night times they we used to count the planes going over mm. and uh, then we used to wait for them to come back and count them and mm. see they were all right yeah but we were all right you know we, yes. we were lucky yeah 
But you were working, at that time you were working as a land girl as well. Yes, yes. So was that must have been quite hard because you were doing all the jobs that the men had done previously. So it's yeah, quite we used physically to, hard, isn't it? We used to do um, stacking up corn in yeah. the fields. They used to do sheaves. Yeah. yeah. We used to love that. Mm. Used to, great fun. There used to be about a dozen girls yeah. doing it. And we do we'd work about an hour and then we'd say right it's time for our elevenses so we we had um we'd take a flask and a couple of sandwiches um which we had to do ourselves of course um mm -hmm. we used to sit and quite often we fell asleep because it was so tiring <laughs> A <laughs> couple of times we got caught with the farmer yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we had to stay extra time yeah. and then we used to do um, potato picking, um, hoeing swedes, or oh, name it turnips, anything like that, you know, it was... But looking back, all those jobs now are mechanised, aren't they? They're all done by um, machinery, yes. aren't they? Yes, yeah. We don't have um, sheets of corn anymore, do we? No. Um, potato picking was the worst because you got terrible backache. Did you? Oh, terrible backache. And you had to sort, sort the big ones from the little ones. Yeah. And, oh. But it was, it wasn't, I, I used to love being on the farm, but I didn't like it when it was wet and cold. Yeah, and then you were a fair weather, yeah. fair weather farmer. Yeah. You yeah. know, you got wet and then you'd go home and get dry and then the next day back at, oh, the summers were lovely, yeah. but not the winters. Yeah. Did you have to do with the animals as well? I mean, were you milking cows and this kind of thing? No, they they had a caiman and that there. The oh, only good. animals I fed were the cats. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, fed yeah. the cats. Yeah. Um, and they had um, an awful Siamese. Oh, he was dreadful. He used to, we had this enormous kitchen and he used to sit on this big window which was all leaded yeah. and he used to cry, cry and you'd think it was a baby yeah. and he used to sit there and I used to say for goodness sake get off and I said to the cook one day I'm going to throw a bowl of water over him one day and she said I don't think so anyway I was, wasn't in a very good mood one day and he kept doing it. I opened the window, threw the bowl of water out, and it wasn't the cat, I, it was somebody else. <laughs> so who did you hit? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was one of the boys that was working on the floor. Oh, right. And I, I ran out and I said, I'm terribly sorry, but I meant to hit the cat. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, I know it's a news to Mary, but he said, can you look next time? I said, well, can you whistle? <laughs> That's a very nice and, story. And, you know, Could have been it the really count. was enjoyable. Yes. I, I really loved it. Yes. Nice people to work with. Yes. And yes. nice people to work for. Yes. yes. They, were, they were really kind. I mean, when I got married, um, I was married in Coles, born in Gloucestershire, and the countess gave me all my bed linen. Oh, fantastic. Everything, you name it, it was there. Yes. Stacked. How lovely of her. So, cause it that's was such really a good, good start. And isn't it? Yes, and we, I mean, I don't think we ever had a crossword. Yes, that's a very good um, memory Never to had have. Never a crossword. Yes. Yeah. She was so sweet. I mean, when I left and I got married, um, before she died, once or twice I'd been up, she'd been round to see me and said, Mary, I, I've got no help. Could you come and cook me a lunch or yeah. a supper? Yeah. And I did. And yeah. it, was, it was lovely. Yeah. yeah. She really was a sweetie. Yeah. yeah I, I liked her very much. Yes. No, that's yeah. marvellous. Yeah. It was um, Countess Munster that designed the garden there, isn't it? Because the garden at Bampton Manor is a lovely garden. Yeah. Was that her design or was that somebody else's? Do you know? Sorry? Was that her design, the garden, or was it always laid out like that? 
No, she did that. Yes, I thought so. She did that. Yeah, and she's a very beautiful girl. I can't quite remember what it was. Because uh, during the war, I think it was used as an hospital or something. Oh, was it? Yes, I think it was. I'm yeah. not sure, but I think it was. Yeah. Yes, she she designed all the garden. She was a great gardener. Yes. Yes. Did, so Roy must have learnt a lot of his gardening from her, or did he learn? Did he teach her? Well, I, I think both. Roy more or less taught himself. You know, just yeah. watched people, and because his brother Francis, of course, was a gardener over there. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I I think it just rubs off in the family as, as yeah. and generation after generation. Yeah. yeah. Because um, now. And Penny is very busy. She loves gardening, mm. so she's following in her dad's yeah. footsteps. Does she like cooking too? Yes, she does. Yeah. And did your mother, was your mother a good cook? Yes, and she also did, um, to make extra money, she used to take in um, washing for the big house in Pusey, all the table napkins and tablecloths and, you know, all the best things used to do that, and um, did she have an electric iron or did she have no? Those? She had um, uh, irons, yes, that you heated up on st on a raven, yes. So you uh, had to put it, you put it flat on the raven, you had to make sure it was just right, yes. <laughs> you burn your hands quite often. And did you go like this? But Yes. You put a bit of spit on your finger it, yes. and touch the iron and see if it went. <laughs> <laughs> yes, to see if it was the right temperature. No temperature gauge or anything. No, no, no. Just a bit of spit. She, she. I mean, she was marvelous. She really yes. was. Eight children, yeah. taking and washing. Fantastic, isn't it? It's a very hard yeah. life, but yeah. you remember it as happy. She, she just worked and worked and worked. Yes. Yeah, she, she was really marvelous. Because even. And washing them was different, wasn't it? Because um, if you're washing the linen, you have to get it at just the right temperature to iron it. Do you starch as well? Oh, yes. I don't starch. think people now know what starch is no. or what you well, have to do. What my mother used to do was we had a, a little outhouse, and in this house, outhouse was a copper, yes. which you lit a fire underneath, you filled the copper up with water. When it was boiling, you put all the whites in and boiled them. Then she'd do, probably do her housework while that was doing, and um, <laughs> go back, take it out, rinse it two or three take times. Take it out of the copper stick. Out of the copper. Yes. Into buckets or um, bars. Yes. Tin bars. Yes. 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 And um, then she'd get one bath with. Um, they used to use blue bags. Yes. Do you remember blue bags? I don't remember them being used, but Racket Blue used to be yes, on the posters, didn't it? Yes, yes. And it was just a very faint blue dye yes. to make the things look white. And it made things white. Yeah. And then the starch process. Oh, okay, tell us about the starch process, because nobody does that these days either. No, they use spray starch now, don't they? If they do it, yes. So that was, you had to mix your starch? Oh, yes. Was mix. that done in the tin it, bar? It was, um, it was like mixing corn flour. Yeah. You know, you, you you put so much in and then you added the water gradually. Yeah. If you add it too thick, it would come out like more. <laughs> so <laughs> you had to be very careful to get it just right, because otherwise, if you opened a serviette and it was hard, no one's... Maybe if you scrape your face rather than wipe it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah. it... it, it I suppose, in a way, one could write a book. Yes, it is such different times, you see. It's such different times. But, it? you know, it's... Now people just shove the thing in the washing machine. Sorry? Now people just shove the thing in the washing machine, don't they? But they really don't know life. No. Do they? No, quite different. I mean, it was like children these days. Now, when we were small, to earn our penny a week, which is a half which, penny, isn't it, these days? I mean, it's, yes, it's worth a half penny, yes. which we don't even have now. We each had a chore to do. Yes. Someone had to wash clean shoes, 
someone had to chop sticks, someone had to do the coal, someone had to fetch the milk. You had to do all your chores and if you didn't do them you didn't get your penny a week. In a penny a week, I mean you could buy lots for a penny a week in those days. What would we you buy? Um, we used to buy packets of crisps was a farthing. <laughs> You better tell. You better say what a farthing is. Yeah, like Walker's Chris Day, but yeah. more in the packet was a farthing. Used to be able to buy um, loose sweets like six for a farthing or eight for a farthing. Now a farthing is a quarter of an old penny, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Yes, a quarter. So it's an eighth of a yes. new penny. Yes. Yes. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, we used to buy um, licorice laces. Yeah. Things like that, you know. It's yeah. what we never bought chocolate. We was never it, had chocolate. Was that too expensive? It was too expensive because they yeah. they were in big bars. Yeah. You didn't very often see the tiny bars. Yeah. They were big bars. The only time I think we would have it is like at Easter or or we'd get a little Easter egg or or at Christmas, something like that. But otherwise not. But my mother didn't really like us having a lot of sweets. Oh, very sensible. But we used to take apple each day to school or... Oh, and the other thing that she did insist on, and I I really hated, we had porridge every morning to go to school to keep us warm in the winter. Mm -hmm. And those fishermen's friends, lozenges, Before you go out the door, she'd stand there with the bag. <laughs> you each took one, and you had to put it straight in your mouth because she was watching you. So on the way to school, you'd see us all spitting them out <laughs> into the grass. They're very burning, aren't they? They're very hot. Yeah, but she said it'd keep the cold away. And I, yeah. I think she probably was right because we hardly ever had a cold. Yeah. But the only thing was, when someone got the measles, uh -huh. eight of us had measles. Yeah. And same with <laughs> chicken pot. <Yeah. laughs> Poor mother. <laughs> yes, that she must have had her hands full. Eight of you with chicken pot. He used to say, who's going back to school today? <laughs> <laughs> Where was school? Was that Buckland? Oh, in Buckland. Mm. How did you get there? Walk. How From Pusey. From Pusey. Mm. Yeah. Used to take us. Um, oof. Used to take us about an hour, I think. We used to leave home about eight o'clock, and walk across the fields. And um, yeah, we didn't mind it. Huh? We hurried to school, but on the way home we relaxed a little bit and, and played. But we always had to cross a main road, the main Oxford road. Yeah. And um, this particular day they'd been tarmacking, and I I think someone must have tripped me up or something. We were running, and someone probably knocked me over, and I I fell onto the road, and. Um, had my knees all cut open, so I got to the school, and they looked at the, my knees because there was—I don't know why there wasn't a doctor or anything nearby, but there wasn't. Anyway, I had a job to get home that night because they were so sore. Oh. And um, Mum said, "What have you done?" And so we told her, and she said, "Well, I think I better get the doctor to have a look at you." Um, she rang the doctor, but there was an old lady living next door, and she was a nurse. I think she'd been a midwife. And she called round, and Mother said, Oh, Mary fell over, could you have a look at her knees? And she said, Oh, my dear, she said, you are in a terrible state, because they'd got all tar on them, yeah. where they'd been tarmacking the road. And... Um, she bathed them, she tried to get it clean, and the doctor came and he said, Oh, I, I think you may have to go into hospital to get them cleaned up. And I started crying because I'd never been away from home. Poor little lassie. 
I, I was only about 10, 11, and um, I was so upset and he said, well, we'll leave it tonight and see how you are tomorrow, and he asked the old nurse if she could come in and see to me and she said yes. So he said, um, I think you better let the little girl sleep downstairs, not to use her legs to go upstairs, so Mum had to put a little bed up downstairs for me, which I enjoyed that because I was mm, with special. Mum all the time. Yeah. And um, But I was home for six weeks with my bad knees. Really? Was that They'd bad? all Just gone septic yeah. and... Yeah. yeah. Was it a big event um, to call the doctor? It was, because yes. he had to come from Farringdon. Oh, and it cost, presumably. Yeah, but, but they used to pay in a, a hospital thing. You paid so much a week. Yeah. And then... So it was like a sort of insurance? Yes, yes. it was like an insurance, yeah. 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 But, uh, I mean, that didn't happen very often. That's the only time I could ever remember or when we had chicken pox or measles, yes. but nothing serious, you know. Yeah. Healthy lot. No. All of you, healthy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shall yeah, we stop there? Shall Sorry? we stop there? Or can you think of any more things we should talk about? Can you think of any more things about childhood you can talk about? Um, what about games that you play? Because of course there's no television Oh, we there. used to play um, hopscotch. Yeah. Do you know hopscotch? I can just remember it. Describe it, how you played it. You had... You drew squares from one... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. You had a stone. You used to hop on one leg. Yeah. And you had to knock the stone from one into two. Yeah and then over to three, then up to four, but if you dropped your leg, you were out. So you had well, to go all hopping. the way back. Yeah. And the next person went, and the first person to go all the way up was the winner. Yeah. That was quite good. Yeah. But we used to do lots of sports at school. Yeah. Um, long jump, running, high jumps. Um, wheelbarrow races, sack race, egg and spoon race. Um, was that just for sports day or was that sort of every week? No, we, each week we used to have a, um, a half a day oh, lovely. for doing it. Mm. Um, we used to do a, a thing with hoops. I think it was called hoopla or something. Oh. Hoopla. Mm -hmm. And then we used to play um, tops um, with... Um, Oh. spinning tops had a top and you wound a string round it and at the end of the string was a, a small piece of wood you held in your hand yeah. to get the top started you had to put it down and pull the string quick to make it spin yeah. and once it was spin you had to try and keep it spinning with the string yeah. That was very good, that was yeah. exciting, because yeah. it took you ages to learn, and once you'd learned it, somebody would come up with a different game, so then that was the end of that one. Yeah. Um, we used to play, um, oh, um, what was it called? Um, statues. Now, how did you say that? statues you had a group of people one person would go and face the wall and count say to ten those people in the group would start walking or or being stupid or something and after ten you turned round and if any one move, they were out. Mm -hmm. So that's why I thought you had to stay really still. Yes, so yeah. some of them was... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. That was funny. Yeah. You know, each each time someone was different and yes. it was great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we... Marbles? 
Did you play marbles? No, the boys played marbles. Boys played marbles. No, we didn't play marbles. What about skipping? Yes, skipping. Is skipping. that just girls or boys and girls? No, girls mostly. It's funny, yeah. isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I I can't really think what the boys and girls did together. I mean, it was all right for a sports day because everyone joined in then. But you know, normally it was. Well, the school was divided actually, with two playgrounds: the girls in one, and the boys in the other. So of course you never came in contact with the boys' games, and then not with you. So they used to play football and things like that. Yes, and the girls were a little bit quieter. Yes, but not were they? I mean, the only thing we never played was tennis and things like that, which oh. never played tennis or um, oh. um, badminton, oh. things like yes. that, which... Well, mind you, the rackets, I expect, were quite expensive. Yes, I mean, I, I, mean, I wouldn't know, but... Oh, the boys used to play cricket. Yes. Um, were the lessons different? Did the boys have some lessons that the girls didn't have and vice versa? The girls used to have um, sewing classes. Yeah. The boys used to have carpentry or gardening. Yeah. Um, we didn't have cookery. But we, what else? Did, oh, we had music. Um, We didn't really do a lot in um, that kind of thing, you know, just apart from the other lessons, um, which some of them were quite hard. It was a uh, Church of England school, so it was quite religious. How oh, was it? Yeah. Really? Did so? Did they? Was there a lot of um, religious ed instruction? R I. Yes. In your classes, did you have to learn bits of the Bible? Yeah. It, you've got a scowl on your face. You didn't like it very well, much. It used to, used to bore me to tears. Did it? Yeah. Oh. Put you off. But, <laughs> you say, the thing I, I didn't mind arithmetic. Yeah, uh, that's unusual. I, I loved dictation. Did you? Yeah. Loved reading. Yeah. Um, spellings. I, I, I didn't do too bad. I mean, my brother, my twin brother, was in the same class as me. Yeah. And um, we had an exam, and Mother says, I hope you'll both do well. I said, we can only try and do our best. Very, very <laughs> said, wise. I hope you will. <laughs> and uh, when we went for the results, I came top in the class. Very good. I was so pleased with myself. And I turned right to my brother, and I said, how did you get on? He said, not as well as you. And I said, oh, Mother's going to be pleased, isn't she? And he was just about to hit me, Mum. And I said, don't you dare. And um, we went home. And Mother said, how did you get on? I said, ask George first. She said, George, how did you get on? Not very good. Mary, how did you get on? Came top. Poor George. <laughs> he said, Mama murderer. <laughs> anyway, I, she bought me a second hand bicycle Did to she? come in top of the class. Yeah. And the next day I rode it to school and I, she said, That will save your legs. Well, I'd only been on the bicycle five minutes. Along comes George. It's my turn to have a ride. I said, it's not your bicycle, it's mine. Mum bought it for me. She said I could have a ride. I said, she did not. We argued. I said, we're going to be late for school. Not if I get the bike. Anyway, he took the bike. He went off. And what happened? He had an accident with it. <gasps> he buckled all the front wheel. So you had that bicycle about ten minutes? Ten minutes. I was broken hearted. I went... That night I went home and told my mother. She said, well, that's it. She said, George, you never have a bicycle as long as I'm alive. Oh, dear. 
And I feel sorry for George, actually. It wasn't his fault he didn't come top. Well, only, it was only 13. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, oh, Mum, you can't do that. I said, we can fix it. Anyway, George did fix it. He went and got someone to give him a wheel and someone to give him a, a mud guard, and he fixed it. And really? Well done. So he learned something from it. Mm. Yeah. But I mean... <laughs> But it would be such a tragedy then. Getting a bicycle was such a big thing. Yeah. Wasn't it? I mean, it was it was unheard of in those days. Yeah. For anyone to have a bicycle. Was very, very special. Yeah, very, very rare you saw anyone on a bicycle. Yeah. But I was so pleased with it and flop. <laughs> well, the then the, ne the next bicycle I had, I had for my... Um, 20th birthday, and that was from the County Countess Munster. Really? They gave you a bicycle? Yeah, I had a, my birthday came along, and we never used to talk about birthdays because people hadn't got the money, yeah. you know. And um, she came in this state to do the meals for the day, and she said, to them, Mary, the Count, and I would like to wish you happy birthday and I said oh my lady thank you both very much indeed that's very nice of you to remember so the count came in then and he said Mary can you just come out here I want to show you something and I said yes sir walked out <laughs> behind the two of them and he said happy birthday and there it was all wrapped up with red paper and big bows all of them I just stood and cried that must have been such an event. Oh, I couldn't get over it. Yeah. It was such a beautiful bike. Was it? Oh, it was beautiful. And all done up in red paper. Oh, it was lovely and all these big red bows. Yeah. So he said, you could have the afternoon off and you could go for a bike ride. <laughs> what time of the year was it? Oh, it was spring. So you could go for yes, a bike ride. Yes, spring, yes. And you did? Yeah. And there weren't many cars about then. No, either. no. So it was safe. I just loved this new bike. Yes, that's a lovely story. That's a very nice story. They they were really really thoughtful. I mean, Christmas time, the the presents she gave you were so useful. Yes. There was nothing, you know. It wasn't just a book. Yes. It was either hairbrushes, or ribbons for your hair, or handkerchiefs, or stockings you yeah. know anything was marvelous really the yeah. way she thought about everyone yes yeah. yeah and how many staff was she thinking about then there was about oh, five of you it was five or six then yeah and that, that was quite a lot yeah yeah no that sounds it sounds happy time oh it was and it sounds a happy childhood i really did enjoy my childhood yeah. in fact the day i left school i cried because yeah. I didn't want to leave. Yeah. I loved school that much because I had lots of friends yeah. there. Yeah. And my mum said, well, I'm sorry, but she said, you just can't stay on. Yes. And Did everybody leave at 15 then? Yes, yeah. Well, um, they left there at 15, but then if you were clever enough to pass, in those days it was 11 plus, yeah. you could go to Farringdon. Elms, yes, but uh, it meant buying uniforms, yes, and things like that. Yes. So, so, if you were not yeah, too I well mean, off, you didn't if, get If yeah. one went, it wouldn't be just fair that if one went, the others, yes, couldn't go. So, so not, none of you went on to the grammar school, no, but you were all clever, I expect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I think. The only benefit we've got is that Bridget and Penny were well educated it, um, here yeah. and Henry Box, yeah. and then Penny's been back to college since yeah. and um, is in with computers. Oh, right. So she's she's got a marvellous job. Yeah. And um, Bridget is, lives in Ireland, and of course she's a chef. So she took after you. Very nice. So, 
And did you teach her? Did you teach her lots of your recipes? I think Bridget learnt a lot from me. Yeah. They both did. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. It's a nice yeah. thing to be able to pass on, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Yeah. yeah. But Br Bridget really is a good cook. Yeah. In some things, she's better than me. Yeah. She's had more experience. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, that's yeah. lovely. Uh, it's been so nice talking to you. I found it just lovely. Oh, Joe, I've enjoyed doing Isn't it. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, yeah. I'd love so it. I think it's lovely.